This screencast is going to explain how to install the scripts and the plugin that's used in SheGeek.org's archiving, uh, digital photo archiving posts. Uh, first, you can ignore this little terminal box here. This is allowing me to take the screencast here. Uh, I run Linux, and it looks slightly different than Windows, but I can explain step by step uh, in Windows as I'm going along. So the first thing we need to do is download and install GIMP and I've already installed it here. Um, the first thing to note when GIMP opens, uh, there may be another window that pops up, the layers window, and we can actually ignore that window, but this is usually what it looks like when it, the whole thing loads up. So we can close this. So the first thing we need to do is find out exactly where should we install our plugins and where should we install the scripts. So we can click on this main window here, go to Edit, Preferences, click on Folders, and Scripts. And on Windows, these two paths, which look kind of funny here because they're Linux, um, but this is the overall installation path to GIMP. So on Windows, this one should look like C slash program files slash GIMP something something something. Um, the important thing to note here is that this is in the share folder in GIMP. The scripts folder is actually buried in the share folder. That's important because um, you need to know exactly where this this path is to install the scripts. So you would download the script from sheetgeek.org or from the Google code site and you would save them to your desktop probably to make it easiest and then you would open up a file manager so you can go to my computer and then you would go to this path here so you would open on a Windows machine it would be the C drive which is file system in Linux and then you would open your program files and here this is the USR folder and then share GIMP 2.0 scripts is where I'm going to go. Um, whatever this line says on the Windows version, go to that path. And then all you simply have to do is imagine this was the script, you would just drop it into that folder. Um, that's all you have to do. And then we shall now go to the plugin. So the plugins folder is in a different place. If you notice here, it says USR slash lib instead of slash share. Um, the scripts go in the share folder and the plugins go into the lib folder. And so the plugin that we have is called dskew. And if you're on Windows, it's dskew, D E S K E W dot E X E. So you would download this executable file and then you would follow the path, that which would be on Windows something more like C slash program files slash. GIMP slash 2.0 slash lib slash GIMP slash 2.0 slash plugins. It would be something like that. Um, and you notice that there are at the top on each the plugins and the scripts there's another uh, folder here. And this is your personal account. So for instance um, this is very much like your My Documents in Windows. And if you installed it here it would only be accessible to you. But it's more important that I think everybody gets access to the plugins and everybody on the computer gets access to the scripts. So we're going to install it to the main folders. So uh, download the dsku plugin and put it in the plugins folder, whatever this path happens to be on your Windows machine. And then download the two uh, scripts. It should be Adam's divide something something script and then Adam's combined script. And um, you would install those to the scripts folder on your machine. When you're done with that, uh, you can click cancel on the GIMP preferences window and you can close out GIMP and start it up again. And once it restarts, it should give you access to, the, to those files.